Welcome back. I'm your host, KP, a marine biologist and a big fan of the Olympic Games. I love watching elite athletes compete at the highest levels. But how would the best athletes in the world fare if they went up against some marine mammals like sea otters? So for this week's Currently, I thought we'd celebrate the Summer Games with our first ever Otter Olympics. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and head down to the descriptions below for ways that you can help support the channel. The first event today is going to be one of my personal favorites, swimming. It's an event that everyone pretty much assumes otters would excel at. But a little known fact is that otters are actually pretty slow swimmers. The fastest recorded swim of a sea otter was about 5 miles an hour. That wouldn't even medal in today's Olympics where the men can reach speeds up to 6 miles an hour. So unfortunately, sea otters probably wouldn't even qualify at this event. But that's okay, because our next event is water polo. Sea otters have a strong chance to make the podium here because they are the only marine mammal with paws. And their paws are incredibly dexterous. They even have semi-retractable claws that help them to grab onto things like oysters or clams and maneuver them and even break open those delicate shells. They also have incredibly strong, albeit stubby, little arms. They use their strength to crack into really hard shells like abalone and have been known to hammer an abalone at a rock at incredible speed and force. In addition, sea otters have a secret weapon, pockets. Sea otters have a lot of extra skin around their armpits. In the wild, they use these to hold things like clams or oysters or mussels, or even a rock if they find one that works particularly well. These pockets could be very useful in trying to keep the ball away from the other team, but I'm also pretty sure that's cheating, which is pretty par for the course for sea otters. <laughs> they aren't exactly known for sharing or caring about fairness, as we can see in this clip with Kunik and her ice treats. They're mine, they're all mine! On second thought, maybe they wouldn't even be that great at water polo because they would never pass the ball to their teammates. What about other individual events? Maybe like wrestling. Sea otters are members of the Mustelid family, also known as weasels. It's a family that includes badgers, wolverines, and even ferrets, like my little monsters here. One thing all weasels have in common is a mischievous nature and a love for all things wrestling. I know sea otters look adorable, especially when they hold paws when they're asleep, but not only are they closely related to wolverines, sea otters are actually larger than their mustelid cousins. In fact, sea otters are the heaviest member of the weasel family. And in the wild, they can be just as deadly and dangerous as their more infamous cousins. So I have little doubt that they would find the podium in wrestling. In a previous video, I talked about how wrestling and play actually serves an important role in the development of younger animals. And you can find a link to that video right here. Next up is arguably the most popular event in the Summer Games, J 
gymnastics. Sadly, I don't think this is an event that the otters could compete in. While I mentioned that sea otters aren't the greatest swimmers in the aquatic world, they also tend to be incredibly clumsy on land. Those giant hind flippers just don't make it easy to maneuver. Sea lions, on the other hand, have exceptionally strong fore flippers that make it very easy for them to climb and stand and even run on land. Speaking of sea lions, how would pinnipeds do in the Olympic Games? Well, for starters, most seals are pretty clumsy and very camera shy, so I think they'd probably just cheer on their sea lion cousins. Back to sea otters, though. I think I know what sport they could easily take home the gold in. A snack off. Get it. While not, strictly speaking, an Olympic event, the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest took place just a couple of weeks ago, and the winner ate 72 hot dogs. According to the Nathan's Hot Dog website, each hot dog weighs about 3.5 ounces. That means that 72 hot dogs weighs about 15 and a half pounds. That's the equivalent of 42 billiard balls. <laughs> That's an enormous amount for a human to consume, but it's child's play compared to what a sea otter can do. Sea otters have the most extreme metabolism in the world. As I've mentioned in many of my videos, they're the only marine mammal that doesn't rely on a heavy layer of blubber to keep warm. Instead, they're like little fur-covered furnaces maintaining an internal body temperature of around 38 degrees Celsius, or about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's all while sleeping in the frigid waters of the North Pacific. And they maintain this body temperature by eating. Food is fuel, so a sea otter must eat about a quarter of its body weight every single day. To put that into context, the reigning hot dog eating champion, Joey Chestnut, weighs about 230 pounds. Now, if he wanted to eat as much as Joey Clam Chops, the sea otter, Mr. Chestnut would have to eat 57 pounds of hot dogs every single day. That's 263 hot dogs every single day. And his record is only 73. So Joey Chestnut's world record hot dog scarf is just a light breakfast for Joey the sea otter. And Sir Chunk still takes second breakfast, 11sies, lunch, afternoon tea, dinner, supper, you get the idea. <laughs> oh look, he's standing. Good job, buddy. Just want some food because you're a heckin' chunk. And there you have it, alone atop the podium. In a race that was never even close, the sea otters take home the gold in the snacking competition. Comment down below one of your favorite Olympic events and how you think sea otters would do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. You've been awarded the gold medal. Just that I don't want to alarm you, but that one's wearing it. Oh my god! Oh my god! You should film it. How did you put this on your neck? He's a winner. Stop! Oh, go back up there.